Hey guys, it's Lucas. So yeah, obviously I have not uploaded in a quick minute. Uh, you could say it's been literally like over a year. Um, I'm not really gonna go into like why I've been gone yet. I'll do it at the end of the video. So if you wanna know what I've been up to, then you can watch until then. So basically what I'm gonna be talking about in this particular video is my life since I came out two years ago. So if you didn't know, I uploaded a coming out video to my YouTube channel two years ago this month. So like exactly two years. And even though it only has 7,000 views, it's still my most viewed video. So I'm really thankful that I did it. And a lot of people have like messaged me through Tumblr and Instagram and that sort of thing. And obviously in the comments of that video. And I just really liked the conversation that it started with a few people. And I really liked getting feedback. So I decided to basically do like a part two kind of um, in hopes that more people will see it and want to like talk to me about it because I just like love talking to people and giving them advice if they're not out yet and that sort of thing. So yeah, this is coming out two years later. So since I came out two years ago, um, my life has honestly gotten a lot better. I feel like when most people come out, they hope or in best case scenarios expect that not much will change. But for me, coming out always meant like more than just letting people know that I was gay. Coming out for me meant that when I'm just hanging out with my friends and they're talking about some hot guy or something like that, I could join in on the conversation and contribute instead of just sitting there like an idiot, like being dead silent. It meant that I could dress or basically just act how I actually am without fear of somebody like confronting me and some straight boy being like, hey, are you gay or whatever? <laughs> basically, it meant that I could be unapologetically myself and say things or make remarks that you wouldn't necessarily expect from a straight guy, if that makes sense. For a lot of people, or for at least me, before I came out, a word to describe my life would probably be fear. And now that I am out, that fear is basically dissolved into nothing. And if you are in an unfortunate situation where your parents kicked you out or they pretend you don't exist or your friends are starting to like drift away from you slowly because you came out, then you can find friends and family within the LGBT community. And especially with tragedies like what happened in Orlando, you can really feel the sense of togetherness and community and family within the LGBT community. I wouldn't recommend looking for friends through like Grindr or Jacked or anything like that because no matter what they say, they aren't looking for just friends. I actually wouldn't recommend looking for them at all because when the time is right, they will find you whether it be your first day of high school or college or your first day on the job, they will find you when the time is right. And when they do find you, you will forget that there were even people that didn't accept you in the first place. And P.S. to anybody from my school that's watching this video, yes, I am making videos again, and if you have anything mean to say, you can say it to my face or you can leave a comment down below and I will seek you out personally. So I think that about wraps up that part of the video. Um, if you want to have a conversation with me about coming out or you want advice or you just want to tell me your story because I love to hear coming out stories, then you can either do that in like the comments or if you want it to be private, you can message me on Tumblr or Instagram or something like that. So basically why I've kind of disappeared since literally last year, um, I've explained this before in previous videos, but I want to make content that I enjoy making and that is creative and inspired and that I think people, viewers, will enjoy watching. Because I know me watching YouTube every day like I do, I get so tired of seeing like Rainbow Galaxy Water Bottle or like Rainbow Galaxy Lasagna. And over the past year I haven't really been inspired to make videos and I don't just want to like sit down and film a challenge and then slap it on YouTube and call it a day. Like that's not what I'm about. Not to say that I won't do challenges in the future just for fun or whatever. And I promise after this video, I'm not just gonna disappear for another year. I have another video planned in the notes of my phone and I really hope it works out because I don't just wanna ditch you guys, the few of you that watch, for another year like that. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it makes me feel good about myself because I'm very insecure. And leave a comment down below saying whatever you want. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Tumblr, you know the drill. Thanks for watching guys. See you later, bye.